Hello everybody and uh, welcome to your next C++ Made Easy tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be learning about parent constructors and destructors. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to make uh, two classes. Now in Visual Studio if you go to project and add a class you can add a class like that or you can do uh, shift alt c to add a class. Uh, double click C++ class and you'll be greeted with this so for the class name we'll have entity or whatever uh, we'll finish and you'll see this pragma once thing and I'll explain more in later tutorials but what pragma once means is that if you say I had a uh, I had two header files, right? And both of them included IO stream. Uh, it would only include one of the IO streams, right? And uh, that saves us from errors for doing a redeclaration error or something. Say, for instance, one class uh, calls a header file that we created, and another class calls another header file we created. Then that's subject for redefinition. But once we have Pragma once, then uh, it gets rid of that and we can also get rid of that with guard tags which I will make a tutorial on uh, sometime uh, in the future when I'm making tutorials anyways so we're gonna create our entity class and we have our uh, constructor and our destructor and we'll just create a player class and do entity and public and we got our player class okay and whenever when we're working with header files and such if you are deriving from another class you have to include that class Remember that when you include, when if you don't include it, th that it doesn't know it exists, right? So you have to include it so that it knows that the entity class does exist, and then we can derive from the entity class. Uh, so what we're gonna do now in this program is we're gonna uh, let's see in the entity class we'll put IO stream, and since the player class. Uh, includes an entity class then we will also have IO stream in the player class okay uh, so in player.cvp uh, we'll say SCC out this is the player class constructor and in the destructor we'll say See how this is the player class destructor. And L. Now, uh, before, okay, I spelled this wrong. Before I continue, some people like to call it deconstructor or destructor or whatever. Some people don't know the right name. The correct name is destructor. Uh, well, I believe they're interchangeable, but uh, the, I believe the, cre the correct name is destructor. Now, I believe someone like the new Boston or whatever calls it deconstructor, but I believe the correct C++ name, C++ name is destructor in case you guys really wanted to know. Okay, so we got the destructor uh, there, and I, if you go to the create a class and you look here, you see destructor, and I believe if it was Microsoft and Microsoft is designing something so big and robust or something designed for C++, then they would get the name right. I don't know, but I'm just saying. Anyways, so let's go to our entity class and. Let's call, say this is the entity class constructor and lastly we'll say 
this is the entity class destructor okay so remember what I was saying is that uh, the parent class the base class or I mean sorry 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 the child class does not inherit from the parent class correct so let's go to main and let us include the player class so let's make an instance of player and uh, let's have system pause so it doesn't open and close quickly and we'll have our return zero so let's run this to see what we get So it says this is the entity class constructor, this is the player class constructor. But wait, we didn't create, and when we click enter, it, it says this is the parent class, uh, the player class destructor, and then this is the entity class destructor. That's what it would say when it closes. And it, it did it quickly, but it, it, it closed uh, quickly. Uh, so what what is going on here? We, I thought the parent, the parent class was an inherited well whenever since the derived class inherits from the entity class think of it like this when in order for a class to work it needs to start uh, it needs to run the constructor so think of a constructor as the engine of the car so in order for a car to run you need to start the engine so with the constructors like the engine whenever uh, it inherits something for this for the player class to inherit from the entity class the entity class has to be quote unquote working so in order for the entity class to actually be working it needs to call the constructor uh, normally the constructor you initialize some critical variables or something in there that's why they have it like that but in order for the player class to actually inherit from the entity class, it has to call the constructor. So it isn't, in fact, inheriting the constructor because you cannot uh, directly modify it like that. But it calls the constructor in order for the entity class to work. Okay, so that's just for, uh, for you guys to know that. Now, before I end this uh, tutorial, uh, what if you have uh, multiple constructors, right? You have um, an overload, right? And you want, say you have, no, I should have put that in entity. Sorry. So say we have an entity and we have an overload. And say uh, our player class, you want it to uh, derive from the uh, first overload or whatever and or like we can still put this here if you wanted or whatever or you wanted uh the animated class to take it from the first overload or whatever you could do anything you wanted so in this case we could put uh we put entity and we could put a there and i believe that's right unless unless we have to do this in the implementation file so let's check I'm sorry I never did this in a while so let's try this so it's called entity a no not a sorry there's nothing in a so one so in this case what we're gonna do is we're gonna make uh, We're gonna put something for our ints uh, for our other overload, and we'll say this is the entity class constructor overload, and we'll say uh, value is equal to a, okay, and we end that with nl okay 
so when we run this program oh sorry we didn't even well yeah it, what you'll see is it says this is the entity class constructor overload and it'll say value one so whenever we call the player class we put the colon there and then we put the parent class name and in the, depending on the number of overloads whatever we put in there it will call that parent class overload constructor so say you had two different constructors one was a, a regular one and another one for another one right and say uh, the player class and the enemy class both inherited from the entity class but upon inheriting they had two different functionality to do something you could call either one of the overloads or either one of the constructors by putting that colon there in front of it and for the declaration and putting the value in there and then you can call it explicitly so that is it for this tutorial i hope you gained something and i hope you enjoyed it so thanks for watching and bye